Hi guys, this is Oshi and this is going to be my first impression walkthrough of the deck Hush Tarot, which is part of my uh, Autumn Fall selection. So I got this deck quite a while now, but I was good and I didn't look at it because I kind of wanted to do it, uh, you know, this first impression on walkthrough before, shortly before I started working with it. Obviously, by the time this goes up, I'm already using the deck, so you might have seen it on Instagram or in other videos that I post uh, and record more close together. But anyway, probably gonna be a long one. I'm not going to pretend I'm... it's not. You know me. If you've been around, thank you. <laughs> but, you know, I like just... I like getting to know, I like getting to know a deck in a way where I, you know, sit down, look through the cards and, you know, just take my time. This is my first impression of the deck, not just for recording it, but more so to have some sort of a recollection how I liked it. So when I post my six months in review, after I actually work with the deck, I will know how and what I thought about the deck because memory. So I know that, you know, the art is by Jeremy Hush and it is a deck that was, wasn't, was you know, created. Uh, so the artwork wasn't created for the deck. I don't even know if Jeremy Hush is still alive. I'm really sorry if you are, <laughs> you know, I didn't do my um, due diligence on it yet. I will at some point when I start working with it. But uh, I saw a few walkthroughs already, obviously, and at first I will. I saw this on Ghost Lillian. Oh God, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not going to remember her channel, so I'm going to hopefully link it somewhere in the cards, or yeah, most likely in the cards. I think that's easier to click on because she uses it in her videos or used it when I started following her, and I remember seeing the ace of cups and which is a skull and a raven is in it and i was like but that's nothing like an ace of cups so i was like even though i really like the art style and i really really do i was like this is not for me i i won't be able to read with it and then i did what i think most of us do i went to kelly fitzgerald's the, the truth in story channel watched her review and you know walked through of the deck and i was like ah i want it so yeah, I got it. And it feels like because it's incorporating death and mortality and dealing with that subject and Faye, it kind of feels like it's a perfect deck, deck for that transition when we go from summer to autumn. So, you know, the dying of, the dying, the death uh, part of the seasons, the cycle of seasons should be you know um, represented well with this deck but we'll see okay so let's see i already removed the shrink wrap from the outside and from the cards because they usually like to separately do that i don't know why i mean if it, if the outside is shrink wrapped you will know it's authentic and it wasn't open in my opinion and you don't need to shrink wrap the cards itself you can if you want to you can put a paper bell belt on it or something you know but whatever uh, so this is the box it has a lovely texture i think it's matte but not uh, a satiny finish here's the back if you want to read it uh, okay 19th century so it's not alive okay <laughs> yeah i don't I, yeah i'm not familiar with the uh painter Illustrator, I don't even know the artist who did the deck. Uh, does it say somewhere who curated it? No, not on the outside, so inside of the box. And let's put the cards down first. Ooh, I don't like the smell. It has that, I mean, I know a lot of people like that new book smell. I don't, but it smells like new books. So if you like that, then awesome for you. This is the guidebook. I mean, I appreciate the cover. You know, it's not just a little white book, but 
Let's see, I wanna know who, who's they are, who's responsible for the deck. In a good way, I mean. And then, then, then intro. So it was first published. Eh? 2020, okay. I was like, where's the copyright of it? Up, up, up there, I was expecting it to be here. I'm not entirely sure what this number is. Because it stops at 3. And it's not an ISBN number. Ooh, okay, hidden clue maybe? Okay, so I don't see here anything about that. But let's see, we have the major arcana, upright and yeah, reverse meaning. But I, I, I think, I mean, just based on the text, it's, it talks about the artwork, which is great. Because I, I don't know how much they go into details. I kind of like to know why a certain art piece was chosen. But I guess we're not getting that here. Would be nice, isn't it? If you know the art pieces were listed somewhere, maybe it is. Uh, ooh, that's nice. We have how to read with the with the deck at the end. Self binding influence. So that's uh, oh artist. Oh okay, and we have one one spread. Okay, so a short bio about the artist, which is appreciated. Joy Shannon wrote that, and I don't see. Hmm, I don't see anything about who put together the deck. So I will have to look around for that because I'm I'm interested. Okay, and of course, as soon as I started recording, the sun is. Some went into hiding, so whatever. I, but I think it should be uh, light enough for you to see the cards. I mean, I can see that on my phone, so hopefully. So we have the fool. Oh, I like. I like this. Is uh, finish. It's not entirely matte. I don't think fingertips would show up. This is the bag, by the way. And as you can see, there is some light. But it, it it feels nice to be honest. I like it, and I like the size. It's 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 wider than a standard and shorter, which I don't mind. Shorter is always better in my book. Okay, not always, but you know what I mean. That's the live series, which is a standard, which is about uh, seven by twelve centimeters or something like that. So we have a ferret because I read it. That's why I know. <laughs> On the fool, so I will. I won't know much about the artwork, so I won't go into detail. You know, trying to guess why this was chosen for it. I will go through everything in the guidebook and then talk about it later. I guess ferrets can be fools. I don't know, <laughs> but as you can see, it's nothing like the traditional RWS, so or at least not a lot by the first look at it which at first was a bit um, intimidating for me but now i'm like okay i can i can do this the magician and i i i remember about this card because that was something that i really liked because i you know you don't know what the magician is actually doing sewing back of the head to the dead body or severing it because using it for magic creating something new or you know connecting to the ancestors and i like how it shows that magic has its price you have to pay it in order for it to be actual and real magic you know not just the abracadabra kind of way but what we understand as magic um, or at least I do the elemental uh, part of it so that the rawness is definitely there and it, it, it kind of reminds me of, uh, of shamans and stuff like that I have to take a closer look at the back as well I don't know what it is on it 
it looks like a moth or a cicada or something so yeah we'll have to check that okay high priestess with birds you know who would whisper the news to her so haha <laughs> Does it remind you of someone from Green of Thrones? <laughs> There's a text on her wrist. Uh, okay, maybe kindly, but I'm obliged to what I I can't read. It's it got dark. I'm annoyed. Okay, we have the Empress. Definitely not the usual um, sort of Empress someone who's sewn together very interesting funny how all that what I don't know about now you know as meaning on the cards excites me instead of making me not want to work with the deck things can change the Emperor and all these are these um, arrows or not even arrows, anchors or whatever uh, go through the hands which is quite interesting and there are even like little figures with animal heads there's a pig and there's the dog I think and cats okay so the hierophant we have keys for sure looks like a tombstone with birds very interesting and ants okay the lovers I think it's Shiva maybe and Kali were they the two together I don't know why am I even trying to guess but it look like you know from Indian mythology, Hinduism, maybe. There's swans because people think swans are cute. No, they can be vicious, just saying. Okay, the chariot with a horse from a carousel. <laughs> There's a lot of, you know, small details like this bird toy, toy bird here. Long forgotten things that you can pull when you when you do a reading with something like this strength similarly uh, someone who's sewn together interesting and i'm not sure what i think about the no pubic hair thing to be honest i don't like that usually this is a deck or a card that scott would <laughs> redress for sure but there are bets which i appreciate and moths and all the creature of the night the hermit with an owl which is an easy choice but it's a mechanical owl who just you know um, defeated a snake which I like because you know you don't get your knowledge and experience just by sitting somewhere you have to work for it in some way, you know, either learning or experiencing things. The real with a hmm, tiny ant on a leaf in a lake. Justice, everyone is naked. I don't really understand why. With ants, and yeah, I mean, it looks like a human, but the ants are so big. It kind of feels like it's not... Oh, we saw the hangman in the book with a mask. But it's, you know, that moment when you're already getting rid of your ropes. And I think it's a lily. It looks like or something like that. Please don't scream at me if it's not. <laughs> Death with skulls and you know I love that you know a bird making a nest uh, with or around a skull a 
and there's a coin either to pay your price you know uh, the, the price you have to pay for I think it was uh, the river stakes that you have to cross and you have to pay for it right is that the one in Egyptian mythology at least that's how I remember I mean if I wanted to be buried I would ask someone to place some coins on my eyes but I don't want to be I don't care about that I don't it's just no that's just you know drop my ashes somewhere I don't care once I'm dead I don't care it's not me anymore temperance interesting I kind of feel like the, the clothing is quite modern I wouldn't think about 19th century I would think about more early 21st century the devil <laughs> with a cat putting up a mask and there's a lock you know which is open very interesting the tower also one of my favorites just by uh, walkthroughs there's not there's no nest here but it kind of suggests that you know birds are uh, occupying the space that was destroyed you know that there's always a new beginning uh, hunting we will go the star with the skull who wears the crown very very interesting choice so yeah the whole deck has that you know decay not in a bad sense but I think it, it definitely forces you to face your mortality which I need to work on and the moon and I usually don't like anything in the moon you know like faces on celestial bodies I really don't like them but this is not that traditional moon so I don't mind the eye and the sun either they kind of make sense in this deck even though they you know this sun is definitely nothing like your usual sun it but it, it kind of gives me that more of a the clarity seeing more clearly uh, option for the the sun and for the moon because the raven crow whatever it's around it and you know it's darker it, it it feels like the fears are surrounding you and you you know you don't even know because you're just one eye so you don't have the full uh, picture you can see everywhere you don't know where um, the danger is coming from it could be anywhere and everywhere but with this one the sun it's already on the underneath you you know you you can, became triumphant and I know it could be just that you know I'm trying to convince myself that that's on the card but this is how I read cards anyway so who cares <laughs> I go with what the image um, um, what is it called starts in me that's not what I want to say but whatever judgment with mice and a lady I have no idea it could be a mirror but I don't know the word also similar setting but kind of gives that gives off that elves elvish scenery from all the rings which I don't mind at all so ace of cups <laughs> that's the one that I talked about definitely not something that i would choose as for the ace of cups so let's let's check the guidebook because and you know you don't have anything but you have the symbol up and the number uh, down that's how you know which i don't mind and when it's obvious i i kind of like that okay so ace of cups upright fresh start healing yeah the little bird sings its uh, song as the new day begins he is perched within the remains of the past 
Oh, okay. The crown is the gift of what is to come next. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's how it was chosen, I guess. That if you leave the past, you'll be rewarded. Like I said, not your usual deck. Uh, two of Cups. Definitely a close relationship. Feels more like a mother and daughter, to be honest, for some reason. That familiar, and because maybe because we have that skeleton here as well. You know, like they are protecting maybe a de dead child. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. Is she the same one? It feels like that, the same as her. The three of cups. Yeah, we have three characters, so <laughs> I'm playing around. Four of cups. The five. It has that dark feeling, so that's good. Six of cups. I like how usually bunnies are present in six of cups for some reason. I like these they, these chalices, they look pretty. And I wonder what the original you know artwork was for. If not for tarot deck. Have to check. Seven of Cups with a rotten horse. There's a snake. We have an owl again with the Eight of Cups. It kind of feels like they are before the storm, so you know, they have to go. The Nine. I like how this uh, chalice is not, you know, new and shiny. And perfect but it is filled with beautiful flowers because that's pretty much what can represent a human being because we are not usually we don't reach the nine of cups just by you know being all happy and positive and beautiful and perfect all the time we make mistakes we hurt we get hurt but if we can move past that then we can go something out of those experiences and you know the snake, the devil, is always there to tempt you. The ten. I guess they were chosen because probably they chose a mate for life as well. A page with a hornet underneath. You know, be careful. <laughs> a knight of cups. Oh, there's another figure down there. And it kind of feels like we have a, a battle. The queen. Huh. You know, who's the queen? The bird or the a person underneath? And the king, who by the look of it has blood in their cup. <laughs> okay, we have the ace of swords next. With lion head, there's another lion over there. Such an interesting bird he created. Two of Swords, <laughs> all the little voices around your head when you try to make a decision. Three of Swords. Hmm. The Four. Okay. 
Okay, I'm getting unsure if this deck, I mean, I said I saw the 19th century, but I do I feel like it's not. <laughs> No, it was created. So the deck was actually. I'm just. Um, I was skipping the introduction, but yeah. Uh, I mean, this person who wrote the introduction. He's talking about in the first. Uh, first person. Okay, no, it can be okay. I just completely misunderstanding something. Okay, so he's still alive. Okay, that and um, that makes more sense because some cards <laughs> look like they were cre uh, created for a tarot deck. I just you know skimmed over the introduction. So if you were screaming at me at the beginning that yeah you're wrong, he's still alive. He's created this deck. Then I mean I I realize it halfway. So it's okay. Uh, where we have four of swords, but that's why it's a first first impression. I mean, if it would be a six of six months in, that would be awkward. Six of swords, ooh, with the piranhas, yikes, and half a half a ship. No, it's not ship. What is it called? Boat. Seven of Swords with a lot of keys. Hmm. I'm stealing away all the keys. Eight of Swords. But it's still a very interesting, you know, word, and that's why that clothing on that card felt modern. Because it is. Nine of Swords. Ooh. I like that. But now you know what? Now I want a more detailed guidebook, even more so, because now we have the artist, so I have to go and check if there's anything more why these pieces were created in a way they were. Ten of Swords. Hmm. So all the dandelion I must be yeah, dandelion grew through the person. At least some did. Page of Swords with a very interesting creature. The Knight. Mm -hmm. Some fly trap over here. Venus fly trap, is that the name? Ants and. Uh, I don't know. But I guess you don't really have to dress up for a fight for some reason. Queen. I like these stars everywhere. King. Which is a, an animal, so not a human. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. With the key, the two of pentacles. Everybody has key. It looks like the one that thieves are using. <laughs> the three. Yeah, it's interesting because you know this could be a three of cups as well. If this was created, then why was it created like that? I want to know, I need information. <laughs> the Four of Pentacles with beads. The Five. Hmm. Underwater. The six I 
yeah the, the traditional scale and flowers really like this background by the way these colors are really nice seven of pentacles with another huge s key i don't know why like if you work hard you can get a huge s key <laughs> eight of pentacles working on some faces The nine. She doesn't look happy though. And the ten with one person only. But looking over beautiful flowers. Oh yeah, page. I remember this page. I think this was the one that Kelly said that she rearranged some cards, I think, for some reason. I think she changed this one to the queen. We have the knight, which is a bird, which is good. And we have the queen. And yeah, I think so, because, you know, this card gives off that uh, innocent feeling with the wedding dress and whatever and this one looks more of like someone who already um, achieved something you know they went deeper into the, their studies and stuff like that so I kind of understand that I will keep it for now how it is I will try to figure out why they were chosen though there's a lot of cards that I wouldn't say they are perfect match for me for the cards so I don't think I will have a problem looking at them I mean it it, uh, it requires adjustment so I can do that it's not just one or two cards for me it's a lot of cards the king of pentacles I like this king I mean with the little family <laughs> which is fake but whatever And our last one is the Wands. Ace of Wands with a face. And someone is making a nest on it or just walking around on the dead body? Is it alive? <laughs> Two of Wands. <laughs> choices you know you can choose the direction where to go the three interesting because they all you know point somewhere and they but they your choice seems to be uh, binded by these birds Or with flowers. Interesting. This the ones are. Are they the ones even? Um, or did I misunderstand them? Did, no, those were the swords, right? They look like swords, yeah. Because for some reason these are more pipish. And they kind of look like spears, which I would put in a sword suit. So this is the five of wands with snakes, you know, biting into the same apple, I guess. Which is a good five of wands, but just I will have to pay attention to the little symbols. Yeah, for sure, French, je ne pas pour. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Six of wands. seven of wands carrying everything you stole and they look like spears why are spears used in the wands or are they still swords and i'm completely misunderstanding the whole thing because that's another thing then because it made sense for me uh you know reading the swords as i read the swords 
previously. So give me an eight of wands. How does it? What does it say? Mm. No, this is the the wands. Okay, so I'm not that stupid at least. But yeah, definitely this deck will require some studying, which I don't mind. I like doing that. Uh, which one? This was the nine. Yeah. And this is the Ten of Swords. No, <laughs> Ten of Wands. <laughs> Carrying the whole cat. The Page of Wands. And the night, and the sun is coming back. Woohoo! Interesting that I think she was the only one who hit her face. We have the queen with more water, I think, than the queen of cups was, but I can remember now. Sitting on, you know, enemy who you defeated or who knows. And the king, another bird, but now on top of a face. So yeah, this is a very bizarre deck in a way, but I don't mind that. I mean, it looks great on the table, to be honest. Can't wait to see uh, what will work. Oh, give me something else, different one. I think it shuffles awesomely. I mean, just by the feel of it, it looks great and it gives you a lot to think about when you read with it. But like I said, it's not something... I mean, I want to spend time with it because I don't just want to go and be like, oh, the fool, what, I, what do I know of the fool? And then just go with the textbook definition. I want to draw from the images as well. So I will work with it for... Well, not the whole three months that's coming up, but, you know, I hopefully a lot during those three months because I will have the oak, ash and thorn <laughs> for autumn and yeah try try to make me not work with that deck <laughs> it's impossible but yeah anyway sorry about not knowing who the artist was and assuming things that were not true but this is just the first impression walkthrough when i can make a fool out of myself because that's how things are here around here so if you like that uh, please like this video subscribe hit that bell icon and join me in live readings and lives for where I talk with other people who are really awesome because I do that a lot lately and yeah, see you around and thank you so much for watching, bye!